Hey, it is GTSS, and in this video, I wanted to do a Google Chrome versus Microsoft Edge comparison. Since it has been a while since I did my last one, and the anniversary update is just like five days away. So here we go. The first important aspect to browsers is, of course, benchmarks. Now, these don't really matter as much as they once used to. Uh, but they are still definitely important in getting a scope of how a browser performs. So HTML5 Chrome gets the win, a slight win, not a huge win, but a win. Octane uh, is actually a Google test. It's a Google-based JavaScript test. And surprisingly, Microsoft Edge wins in a Google-made test. That was the one that I expected Chrome to win in the most. But of course, Microsoft Edge won, as you can see right there. Again, not a very significant win in terms of margin, but it is win nonetheless. And then Peacekeeper, which it's important to note, is discontinued. It's no longer being updated for future standards, uh, but it is a very, very good test nonetheless of just getting a uh, basis of how the browser does everything, from video playback to graphics performance to JavaScript to everything. And as you can see, Chrome gets a pretty significant win. It's like 20%. Um, and that's a pretty significant win, but of course, benchmarks aren't the whole story. So moving on to website loading. So what I did was I loaded up CNN, ESPN, Bleachers Report, YouTube, and the New York Times after you know clearing the, the cache and browser data, of course. And uh, in, in, pretty pretty interesting here with no ad block. Edge actually so on average, when I uh, averaged up the load times for all of those websites, loaded each website uh, at about 11 seconds. Chrome took 12 and a half ish seconds, but with AdBlock enabled, and I used AdBlock AdBlock Plus on both, um, Edge goes down to 7.9 seconds, but Chrome actually goes all the way down to 4.1 seconds to load. So I don't know if the second time Chrome just accesses the cache quicker, or if the AdBlock extension just works better. Is you know optimized more in Chrome. If you're an AdBlock user. I think Chrome has a significant advantage in loading times, and I noticed this throughout. Like, it's not just these websites, and even if you're not using AdBlock, Chrome just feels faster because it loads the website. It shows you the website as it's loading, versus Edge, which loads everything and then flashes the website, so you can't scroll and use it as quickly, in my opinion. So, there's the speed and loading. Um, but that's obviously not everything a browser has, and there is, of course, the topic of extensions. Now, extensions in Edge are they're here in the anniversary update, but they are very limited. Uh, there's a growing number of them, but there's only about 15 so far. The important ones are there. I think Evernote, Clipper, uh, and AdBlock Plus and AdBlock itself are there. Uh, that's awesome. That's great to see, but Chrome has hundreds of thousands of extensions tens of thousands of apps, tens of thousands of themes. The only two themes on Edge are light and dark theme. So in terms of customizability, Chrome is still far superior. Extensions work well in Edge, but they are still very limited in terms of number. And that's gonna cost you big time because you just can't customize Edge. And of course, there's the additional stuff that uh, Chrome is on your phone. It's on Android and iOS, whereas Edge isn't on either of those. If you've got a Windows phone, Edge might be the way to go. But if you've got an Android or iOS phone, iPhone, uh, Chrome is really where it's at. So uh, the I, for me, at least, the result of this test has not changed. I still believe that Chrome is the winner. Uh, I think Edge is catching up. It feels faster. It doesn't crash as much. The extensions are good, but you still can't customize it. It's still not cross-platform, cross and that is definitely going to cost it. Uh, and even if you're just looking at Windows performance, Chrome, in my opinion, still wins. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe for similar Windows 10 and browser videos, and thank you for watching.